Mission Night. In this session, we will recognize the student athletes who participated in modified soccer and modified cross country. I would like to say thank you to our modified coaches for their efforts in helping to mold our young athletes into competitive team players and runners. I want to thank Lisa Menard for typing the program and the certificates, and I'd like to thank our maintenance and custodial staff for their help with the fields. In addition to athletic talents, 78 athletes earned high honors while participating this fall. This is listed as the NCCS Academic Recognition Program, and it contains a list of the athletes with 90 averages or above. I'll call each team down separately. Please hold your applause until all members of the team have been introduced, and then each coach will take a few minutes to comment on their season. And Mr. Hogan, sitting right here in the front, has asked me to make sure that everybody uh, faces him so he can get a picture when you get your award. We have the girls modified soccer team down front, please. Impressed me 
say about my team this year that I would like to share. We were playing against Seton early in the season, and at the time we were winning 6-0. to zero. It was at this time that one of my girls asked me if we were going to let the other team score. As a varsity coach, things might have been different, but what I saw in my player was empathy. Someone who didn't want to see another team crushed, both by the score of the game and the feeling they would have inside after losing that badly. Seton did end up scoring a goal, so there was some level of success for our opponents. We also participated in the buddy walk at the Melissa Penfield Park in Plasburg to help raise awareness for Down Syndrome. Those girls who were able to come on Saturday were able to participate in a charitable cause and have a good time at the same time. Some of the girls enjoyed themselves so much that we decided to participate in the Alzheimer's walk that was held at the field house after the season had actually ended. It was what my players did off the field that impressed me more than anything. These young ladies have already learned to be selfless and to put others before themselves. And some people never developed this part of their character in an entire lifetime. Each one of them brings a smile to my face and makes me proud to have had the opportunity to coach them. The last decision that I had to make for this season was deciding who was going to be my most valuable player. Well, what I decided was there were two. The first player was easily recognized by several of the other coaches and parents as one of my strongest and most consistent players. She has always been a very versatile player and able to do anything from play sweeper to center forward. She has outstanding ball handling skills and fears no one. My first choice for most valuable player goes to Erica Sprout.
avoid his JV soccer team down or modified soccer team down front. <laughs> Josh Rabideau, Nolan Reed, Avery Trombley, Manager Steve Carter. Please welcome the boys' modified soccer team. Years, between the hundreds of games and a thousand or so practices, 
It's been fun watching, coaching, and cheering him and his buddies on. I wish them all the best of luck in whatever the next stage of life has in store for them. Now for my team. Every year brings a new look to the team and different levels of skill, heart, and personalities. We started out losing two tough games with just a couple of minutes to go to PHS and Beaver Town. Then we went on to win nine games in a row to end the season and showed our improvements by getting Beaver Town back by winning 3 0 in the last game of the year to spoil their undefeated season. Although you want to win every game you play, no matter what level you are coaching or playing, we stress that this is not what it's all about. When you can substitute 10 players at a time and still own most of the field, then our program is a successful one. No other team in the league can do this or does this and have the success we have had this year or last year for that matter. That gives you an idea of where we are in our program and it looks good for Northeastern soccer for years to come. As Dale and Frank say, we don't rebuild, we reload. For the team members, I'll start with our goalies, Dale and O'Neill and Kyle McCarthy. We were blessed with the two goalies that not only like to play goal, but really played well and they have all the tools to become successful in the years to come. They are both aggressive and both have great anticipation along with a good foot. On top of that, they play pretty good in other positions as well. Kyle really played well at the halfback position and created some real good scoring opportunities and scored a few goals besides. Dale has this year of scoring opportunities as well and played halfback and on the line. Lineman, Bo Duke, Cole Cooper, Josh Rabidou, McKenna Hunter, and Dustin Cooper. Uh, Bo, I used him as left winger last, winger last year and started him out this year at that position and it just wasn't working. I switched him to center line and he created scoring opportunities and scored himself a few times. You wouldn't hear much out of him, he's very quiet, but he loosened up a little more by the end of the season. Cole, he's a very steady player. He started, started out a little slow but came on strong after just a couple of games. He possesses good skills and works hard in practice. He came through with some big goals and is a total team player. Josh, being his first year, he made an impact right away. He had a good, he has good speed and a good foot, good and good foot skills. He created many scoring opportunities. He could play anywhere on the field. McKenna, he's a player that knows what he can, can and cannot do. He was good at playing his position and made good decisions. He scored a goal by being where you're supposed to be, on the goalie. Dustin, he was like a little Tasmanian devil. He was all over the place. Sometimes that's not good, but I love watching him play. When he fine-tunes his skills and tries not to do too much, he'll be creating problems for our opponents in the future. Fullbacks, Dalton, Castine, Alex Davison, Adam Jeanette, Thomas Bedard, Nolan Reed, Tyler Bosley, and Dan Potter. These guys did a super job helping to hold down our opponents to very few goals per game. Nolan showed great anticipation, and don't be fooled by his size, he has the foot that bigger guys wish they had. Dalton rarely got beat, not only would solve the offense of the opponent, but made excellent passes out of the zone to get us in our transition to offense quickly. Tyler started him on the line, and when I moved him to the fullback position, he was a different player. He improved a great deal. Alex Davison, he has a strong foot and has been after me for two years to put him at halfback or line, and I wouldn't listen. I finally gave him his wish the last two games of the year, and he scored two goals in the first game, and two out of the three goals in the game versus beat me down to spoil their undefeated season. I guess I should have listened sooner. Dan, I started him at fullback, and then I used him on right wing, and even played him at halfback a couple of times. He was able to score a couple of goals and learn three different positions as well. Thomas, you can't work any harder than this guy. He finished first in every long run, suicide, or any other run we did, except for one. Rob decided it was his turn toward the end of the season to win in our end of the practice suicide that all the kids love. I think Tom wasn't feeling good that day or just wanted Rob to feel good. <laughs> Tom has a never give up attitude and it doesn't matter if he gets beat, he will make up for it and get the ball back or team up with another player to get it back. When he fine tunes his skills, he will be a player to watch in the years to come. Adam, I can't say enough about this player. He could have given up, but he goes to show you that if you want something bad enough, you can get it. He got his chance this year, and he made the most of it. Somewhere around third or fourth game, he really stepped it up and was one of my best defenders. He has a strong foot, and his anticipation to step up and intercept the pass with loose ball helped us keep the ball in attack mode instead of defensive mode. For his hard work and attitude, I had selected him as my most player, Adam Jeanette. 
Our midfielders, <coughs> Matt Laterno, Rob Armstrong, Alex Skittles Gay, Marcus LeFay, Liam McDonough, Avery Trombley. These guys did a super job keeping the ball in the opponent's zone as well as getting back to help clear it out of the zone when needed. They were the generals out there and they could make or break your team if they weren't iron on their game. Marcus, good field sense, has nice placement of passes for our wingers and good hustle on defense. Skittles, never give up attitude with a huge heart. He has endless energy and did a nice job interrupting opponents' offense. Avery, one of my favorite players. Don't be fooled by his size. He possesses great fundamentals and is a total team player who seems to make the right decision and be in the right position all the time. I was very impressed with his play. I used him in a few positions and he handled each one very well. Matt, he's a steady player who has good skills and works as hard as any player. He is a great defender and played a huge role in helping us defeat Beaton Town in the last game of the year as a fullback. Liam, very smart player, possessed the skills that I looked for in the center halfback. He controlled the middle and helped in creating many scoring opportunities as well as getting back and clogging the middle up on defense. We counted on him to take our corner picks when, we, when he was in the game and he made most of them dangerous for other teams. Rob, also my center halfback who has the best dribbling skills on the team. He created many scoring opportunities along with scoring a bunch of goals and assists. He worked hard every practice on improving those skills and has improved on his aggressiveness this season to be a very, very dangerous weapon on the field at any position. This is why I have selected him as the most valuable player. Last but not least, my manager, Steve Carter, biggest manager ever, I think. Uh, he wanted to come aboard to give himself a workout for basketball. He did a great job helping our team and myself throughout the season. Thanks for everything. Definitely Barco. 
Laura Bashar, Claire Hipko, <coughs> Lacey Hobo, Justine Rabideau, Patricia Kupel, Alex Cartier, Eric Stuckler, Jordan LaValle. Please welcome our modified cross country teams and coach Dave Coach. Jolie makes me feel tall I can move the microphone up. <laughs> Alright, uh, thank you everybody for coming tonight. Uh, appreciate the effort that the parents make and the support you give to your kids. Uh, it is noticed by them, even though they probably don't tell you that. Ten years from now they will. Um, I'd like to thank parents for all your support this year, coming out to meet, sometimes standing in the rain, picking kids up after practice, whatever that may be, encouraging them, uh, letting them ice their legs and sit around for half an hour when they need to, whatever it may be. Uh, I'd like to thank Josie for all the work she does. There is a ton of work involved in scheduling, busing, having me come in and say I need this or that, having the other coaches come in and say we need this or that, and she does a, an excellent job of it, most organized person I've ever seen. Uh, I don't know how she does it. God knows I could. Uh, I'd also like to thank my family for putting up with me being gone. Uh, the families don't get enough credit for the time that they uh, give to the, the coaches uh, without without complaining, without moaning and groaning. And uh, I'd just like to thank my wife and my son for letting me have the time to do this and hopefully do it well. Uh, I'd like to congratulate the other teams for their excellent seasons. I'd like to congratulate the modified coaches. Uh, a lot of people don't know modified has got to be the toughest coaching job there is. Uh, you have to stay encouraging the kids, you got to let everybody play, and you have to let these kids grow and develop. Uh, some kids, 7th and 8th graders, they're not always at the top of their skills. Uh, when they're in 7th and 8th grade, if you let it come along, a lot of times they come out and become outstanding players. And it's not an easy thing to do when these guys do an excellent job of it. So thank you to them for the great job that they do. Uh, this cross country season was really excited for, for the, exciting for the kids and for me as well. It's an enthusiastic bunch of runners. Uh, I can't say enough about them. Uh, they're great every day. They go out and they work hard. Uh, nothing funnier or more gratifying to me than watching kids finish a race, grab a cell phone, which is a fairly new thing, and call home screaming, Come on, Dad, I came in third. Right, Claire? All right, that was very, it was very funny. Uh, it had to be there, I guess. It was pouring rain. It's a miserable day, and she's all excited. Uh, most of them were with me last year, so we were able to build a lot more this season, and they were really quite competitive. And what was really fun was watching them. They wanted to beat not only the kids from the other schools, but they'd sit there and say, oh, I'm not going to let her beat me, and so they wanted to beat each other as well, which is awfully, uh, it shows a real competitive streak. It's got a bright future here, and a lot of these kids are going to be really good. They're going to move, most of them will be moving to varsity next year, and they should provide an excellent boost and help replace our departing seniors. I'm really proud of the work that they've done, and cannot wait to see how they progress over the years. Uh, this year, I did not give any individual awards this year. Uh, I couldn't pick one out. I do got some amazing kids here. They did their individual goals. Um, some of them had individual goals that they meet, whether they were winning races or coming in certain positions. Uh, we had the top three girls and three of the top four girls in the CBAC. Uh, I had my Siamese twins, which never finished, I think, more than a second apart. Uh, the guys were excellent. We had the second best boy in the league. And so I'll find out if it was a good decision or not. I'll either get thanked for it or crucified one of the two. But they were an excellent group, and I can't say enough about all of these kids, and they are all just amazing people, and I thank them for the season that they gave. Very much. There's a lot less running during Lockwood. 
So, thank you. This concludes our first session. Thank you all for coming. Mid to upper 20s while the firefighters were battling this. We haven't had snow, so that's got to be residue from the water that battled the fire. It gives you an angle here that might indicate to you that the front part of the building, and we'll reposition ourselves here slightly, has collapsed in.
adversity that was uh, thrown their way, and they never ever gave up. They never questioned what they were doing. They gave me 110% every single day. I couldn't ask for anything more than what this group of boys did this season long. I truly enjoy coaching this group. I don't know that I will have a group as good as this again. They will be deeply missed. Um, I would like to thank Brent, my manager, who stood out there. Uh, Ray Snow, Steve Tano. I must be a kid thing. I'm old and I get cold really easy. But uh, he did a tremendous job and it certainly made my life a lot easier. Alright, my MVP for Pete, um, it's uh, very gratifying when you see a person set goals for himself, and it's even more gratifying to see the reaction when that goal is reached. My first MVP set CBAC All Star in the state, state meet as his goals. When he found out he made the All Star team, his reaction was uh, different. I'll just say that. Uh, he worked hard all season long, pushed himself, and always kept his goals in mind. He's been a pleasure to coach over the years, and I know he'll be doing great things after high school. My first MVP, John Cooper. Um, it, uh, it states that 
you know, presented to David Coates. This award is present, presented to you for not only being an amazing coach, but also being an amazing friend and cross country boy is 0708. So, thank you, everybody. Thank For a Super Bowl party, there is one at Mr. Cook's house, and he does have a big screen TV. <laughs>
Really enjoyed watching her improve, most improved this year is Megan Bowman.
few more meets since, I mean, let's face it, cross country is not an interesting sport to watch, and not a lot of people come. Uh, so thank you for that. We'd also like to thank Mrs. Gilroy for being an amazing uh, athletic director. We'd like to thank Calvin for coming to our meets and taping them for us. We'd like to thank Mrs. Pokes, obviously, for being the amazing coach she is. And we'd like to thank the running club for finally buying us a new uniform. I have no idea how old the last ones were, and we shared them with track, so that was a nice uh, little gift, I guess, for the, our senior year. Um, so we sat around for some time today after school trying to come up with the perfect way to say what we wanted to say to our coach and our team. Unfortunately, there are no words to describe the gratitude we have for everything you have taught us throughout the years. You've taught us team spirit, perseverance, respect, 